Hey there, YouTubers. Right, so um, another benchmark type video. Had somebody wanted me to put the i5 11600K in either Z490 or Z590 motherboard. It just so happens we are going to use a Z490 in this video. So this is the i5 11600K, Z490. And let me just show you guys. Uh, actually, I should probably use Intel's XDU, but there you go. There's your CPU. Um, we got eight gigs of RAM in here, RTX 2060 Super. Now, that's actually not what I wanted to do. Let's pull up Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. All right, so uh, 11600K, there it is. Here is the motherboard, okay? It's a Gigabyte Z490M. Did update the BIOS. Uh, one time this was the most update, probably still is. Here we are, May 7th. This has made it 11th gen compatible, all right? Can't say everything works with this motherboard like it's supposed to, but uh, for the most part, it's 11th gen compatible. We have a Noctua CPU cooler on this thing. 140 millimeter, two 140 millimeter fans. Uh, you can tell that's a pretty good temp, right? Just to start off with. So we are going to do two benchmarks in this only. Um, then we're going to disable Turbo Boost. I'm going to do XTU. Then we'll do uh, Cinebench. Let's go ahead and do the one in here. You can see I previously did this. And we'll just run this again. So this CPU cooler was, I think, $59.99 when I bought it. And now I've added a, an additional $14, $15 Noctua fan. So in the, the end, it has cost me $65. But I want to say it's performing as good as the $100 Noctua did for me. Uh, I could be wrong, but... There you go, 2742 here, okay? Not bad at all. Uh, CPU temp did get up to 70. Previously, it was in the uh, the 60s, so got a little warmer. Let's go ahead and run this one, then I'll disable everything. So we've run this a few times in here. Uh, one time with a much weaker CPU cooler and you know going back to intel's whenever you see thermal throttling pop up you know you're losing performance okay one thing that i also should probably tell you we have power limits set to unlimited okay no changes these are all default for the multipliers all right all right, this temp's gotten gotten back under 30, so we're going to go ahead and hit run. Now, it'd be nice to break 4166, but um, I don't think we're going to do it. So we'll see. Getting there. Yeah, 
And boom, 4240. Yeah. All right. So I'm not sure why it uh, went up, but, you know, that's a pretty good number for an i5. Honestly, I don't think I've uh, ever had an i5 score so high. So uh, very satisfied with that. Now, because you requested it, you know, I can't always do every uh, request on the channel, but sometimes we can do these. So this one's easy enough for me to do. Disable. And eventually I'll probably run uh, Fortnite. Uh, I'm going to have to check, change out my M.2 NVMe out of here, put a different one in here. Uh, one that's actually got Fortnite on it. All right, so... Let's go back here. Let's see what the temps have dropped down to. And actually, if we look at this, Cinebench almost got it up to 70. 68, I think, is the, the high I saw. All right. So we're going to do this twice. And we're in the 20s again, so we can do this again. 42.40, okay? Remember that number. Actually, it's going to stay there. The one that goes up next will probably replace this one. All right. So while that's going, let's go ahead and check out the temperatures over here, okay? You can see substantially less temperatures. But the... Uh, The base clock is 3.9 gigahertz, so this is not going to go over that, okay? Still uh, mid 40s, 46. You know, some of this uh, is the CPU cooler, some of it is turning turbo boost off, right? If I had a Intel stock cooler from one of the lock processors on here, this thing would get ridiculously hot, most likely still with the turbo boost on. All right, so 47. It doesn't look like it's going to get any higher than, well, no, got up to 48, 47. Let's go ahead and see what we're at over here. We're almost done. Almost done. Go back. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to break that. So, and voila, thirty-five sixty-seven. So, you can see uh, this is better than quite a few processors on this list. Of course, most of those, actually, all of them are older. But uh, yeah, not a bad score. Um, not bad at all. Let's go over here. I looking for it right here so this thing is back down we'll let it get under 30 again but we've got uh, obviously this number is not going to be greater than 3.90 so we don't have to memorize that one this temp and this score are going to change so 2742 70 degrees Celsius we are inside of 30 and if I you know waited long enough it would get back down to 26 right probably lower actually it says 25 there so if we waited long enough it would get down there all right let's go ahead and run this 2742 70 we're not going to see temps that high nor are we going to see a score that high So, 
2742 down to 2318. 7 degrees Celsius is 50. So significant reduction. Actually surprised it wasn't more, but uh, and like I said, 3.9 gigahertz or less there. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. Um, I will do a little Fortnite at some point, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.